Hello Forest Center families. It's time for this week's BTVN, where you get your Forest Center info now. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Here's what we have for you this week. The Skills USA Regional Competition is on Saturday, February 3rd at the Calvert Career Center from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The awards ceremony takes place in the Calvert High School Auditorium at 2.30. Please note, a few contests take place during the school day on Thursday, February 1st here at the Forest Center or on Friday, February 2nd at North Point High School. Check with your instructor to see if your contest is taking place early and to get a permission slip to attend the competition on Saturday in Calvert County. Seniors, don't forget to attend the annual Becca Scholarship Fair tonight from 4 o'clock p.m. to 6.30 p.m. in the Forest Center dorm rooms. This is a countywide event. If you can't attend, you should check out their website at www.smcbeca.org. Thank you to all the students, faculty, and staff who helped make this year's Tech Expo a success. Interested students who missed the Tech Expo still have at least two upcoming opportunities to do their application visit during the school day. As many of you know, the flu has been really bad this year. The CDC is offering a wide variety of educational resources about the flu on their website. To access those resources, go to www.cdc.gov slash flu resource center slash free resources. From our school resource officer, Corporal Delosier, this is National Drug Facts Week. Here are a few facts concerning the opiate ep epidemic. One, Vicodin is the most prescribed medication in the United States. Two, 47% of individuals with substance use disorder began substance use at the age of 17 or younger. 3. Although 25 through 34 year olds remain the largest group of opioid abusers, it is the 18 to 24 year olds that are the fastest growing group of opioid users. The NAACP is sponsoring its sixth annual Spring College Fair featuring HBCU colleges in honor of Black History Month on Friday. February 9th from 9 to 1 o'clock p.m. Students will need to sign up in their high school career centers in order to attend. GMHS students will attend at 9 o'clock. CHS students will attend at 10 o'clock and LHS and Fairleigh students at 11. Please get a field trip form from your high school if you are interested in attending this college fair. Representatives from the College Access Program are available to meet with Forest Center students every Monday during the midday session. See Ms. Toombs and Ms. Taylor for assistance with your college and career plans. Upcoming ASVAB testing dates include Tuesday, February 20th at Great Mills High School and Thursday, March 15th at Chopticon High School. See your school counselor or career center if you'd like to take the ASVAB. This week's Fundraiser Friday features Teacher Academy of Maryland selling snack items for $1 each during all three sessions. It has been 24 school days since the last serious injury has occurred here at the Tech Center. From our school nurse, as temperatures drop this winter, the American Red Cross offers 10 steps people can take to stay safe during the cold weather. 1. Layer up. Wear layers of lightweight clothing to stay warm. Gloves and a hat will help prevent losing your body heat. 2. Don't forget your furry friends. Bring pets indoors if they can't come inside. Make sure they have enough shelter to keep them warm and that they can get to in frozen water. 3. Remember the three feet rule. If you're using a space heater, place it on a level hard surface and keep anything flammable at least three feet away. Things such as paper, clothing, bedding, curtains, or rugs. 4. Required supervision. Turn off space heaters and make sure fireplace embedders, embers are out before leaving the room or going to bed. 5. Don't catch fire. If you are using a fireplace, use a glass or metal fire screen large enough to catch sparks and rolling logs. 6. Protect your pipes, run water, and a trickle to help prevent your pipes from freezing. Open the kitchen and bathroom cabinet doors to allow warmer air to circulate around the plumbing. Be sure to move any harmful cleaners and household chemicals out of the reach of children. 
Keep the garage doors closed if there are water lines in the garage. 7. Better safe than sorry. Keep the thermostat at the same temperature day and night. Your heating bill may be a little higher, but you can avoid a more costly repair job to your pipes if your pipes freeze and burst. 8. The kitchen is for cooking. Never use a stove or oven to heat your home. 9. Use generators outside. Never operate a generator inside the home, including in the basement or garage. 10. Knowledge is power. Don't hook a generator up to the home's wiring. The safest thing to do is connect the equipment you want to power directly to the outlets on the generator. That's all we have for you. BTVN is always available for playback on the Forest Center's Bulldog TV YouTube channel and on TC Radio, which can be found at tcradio.podbeam.com or on iTunes at mixcloud.com slash tc underscore radio. BTVN is produced by students in the TV video production program. All news announcements should be emailed to Mr. Millam by no later than 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. Have a great week.